Traditionally, Scottish pig producers have aimed for a carcass weight of 75 kilograms. The production of heavier pigs to a carcass weight of 90 kilograms offers the potential of increased profit to both producer and processor. But do heavier pigs mean an unacceptable sacrifice in eating quality? In pigs, we recruited one abattoir and producers uh, and producer groups supplying that abattoir. And th those groups were already really applying best practice on, on farm, so there wasn't really anything further to do to enhance that. What we did do, though, was to particularly, at the wish of those producers and abattoirs, investigate the implications of, on meat quality of taking pigs to heavier slaughter weights. So in, in that case, we um, asked producers to, to produce pigs at both 75 and 90 kilo slaughter weight. Um, after slaughter, we also did some further selection according to pH and P2 back fat measurement into carcasses that we thought would have even further enhanced eating quality, and we tested those different approaches. In a nutshell, in pigs, taking those animals to the higher uh, carcass weights had no detrimental effect on eating quality. In fact, in some cases, it was enhanced, probably as a result of slightly higher fatness although there's a slightly delicate balance to be achieved here because obviously consumers uh, noticed that there was higher fatness in these animals as well. So with modern genotypes and good management, we can take pigs to, to higher slaughter weights, but we do need to be cautious about going over the, over the top and, and getting them too fat. It used to be thought that taking pigs to heavier weights would lead to concerns over boar taint and increased toughness. However, responses from the Meat Eating Quality Project taste panels show that meat from heavier pigs received higher scores for eating quality. And because of larger portion size, consumers felt they were getting better value for money. Although eating quality benefits from larger pigs need to be counterbalanced by additional trimming of visible fat. Near Ellen in Aberdeenshire, Ian Bartlett has been farming pigs for more than 30 years. Currently, he's producing 5,000 baconers a year and taking them to the heavier than usual live weight of 115 kilos. It was an, an initiative set up uh, between Grampian Pig Producers, the marketing cooperative, and the processor and the retailer. I think it's very important to uh, get that cooperation between all three uh, components in the chain. And since then, uh, the thing's been a, a great success and Grampian Pig Producers as a cooperative are marketing 2,500 pigs per week as heavies. You say it's more profitable. Are you able to either give a figure or a percentage on how much more you're making? Yes, for, for my unit, at that point in time, I was uh, selling fairly heavy bacon pigs, but uh, I even managed to increase my weights uh, by 10 kilos and taking into account the extra feed and housing costs, I still had an, an additional margin of three pounds per pig for keeping that pig an extra 12 days. Obviously, you've said that there are complications with extra time, extra feed and extra accommodation. How complicated was it at the outset to, to counter those negatives? It, it was a little difficult. We had to uh, watch how we uh, housed these extra pigs. The, the tendency for people was to, to pack them in and of course that's no good at all because from a health and welfare point of view it's, it's bad for pigs and, and uh, just bad for everything. Uh, the pigs won't do so well. So uh, we had to build. We put up new buildings to uh, accommodate the extra pigs and it fitted in quite well with my unit because one of my fattening sheds was uh, at the end of its life anyway. But you definitely feel it was worth it? Oh, absolutely. There's just no question in my mind it was worth the, the effort because, as I say, it's extra three pounds a pig. I'm marketing 5,000 pigs a year. It's, it's money. Irrespective of weight, a high overall level of pig herd management with particular attention to nutrition and stress and continuous monitoring of pig health are important to ensure good eating quality pig meat. This is Halls of Broxburn, part of the Grampian Country Food Group and Scotland's biggest pig processing plant. Here, vet David Strachan examines the lungs and livers from freshly killed pigs. It's part of the Wholesome Pig Scotland initiative, set up in 2003, for which David and his colleague, Professor David Taylor of the Glasgow Veterinary School, look for any signs of subclinical disease. Information can be relayed back to producers and their vets 
who can then take remedial action. Avatar monitoring has always been done on an ad hoc basis for certain producers and we felt that uh, what we could do is establish a, a routine slaughter monitoring program for all, available to all producers in Scotland. What we aim to do is uh, monitor each uh, producer's pigs at least once per quarter. We feel that the most important uh, economic disease that we can uh, monitor at the abattoir is enzootic pneumonia uh, and second to that probably the, uh, looking for the presence of uh, signs that could be associated with mange. We know that uh, both enzootic pneumonia and uh, mange can uh, markedly reduce the uh, feed conversion efficiency in the pig. Uh, for example, the, in mange it can reduce the FCE by uh, around 10% in pigs with mange. So on a couple of occasions we have uh, picked up uh, signs of enzootic pneumonia at the abattoir before the farmer has realised that there has been a major problem. Uh, this would then allow them to, to go in early with uh, control measures uh, before the disease really takes a hold. Uh, and secondly, you know, we have picked up several occasions where uh, the, the farmer may have thought that vaccination was working well, but in fact the abattoir reports have, have revealed that it hasn't been working well uh, and the farmer can then liaise with his vet to try and improve the vaccination strategy somehow on the farm.